Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And in the last episode, we talked about a bunch of editing hotkeys. What I showed you in the last episode is sh stuff that we did quite commonly. And we assigned one key hotkeys to those stuff like trimming items, splitting items, putting fades on the items, moving them to our cursor, stuff that we do quite often. Now there's a whole other bunch of stuff that you can do to items if you open your media items property window. And you can do that by just pressing F2, or you can double click on any item, or you can right click on any number of items and go to item properties. Now the item properties window is a dynamic window, meaning if we put this somewhere and pin it, the information on this window will change based on the selections we make. So right now no items are selected. If I select one item, you will see that all the information there changes based on their source file. And if I select a bunch of items, you can see the information for all that stuff. The boxes that become empty are boxes where, well, it's not the same across all of these items. So this window is really useful for batch editing files. So for example, I got all these sound effects right here and I want to add a half second long fade to all of these. Well, I can just type it in here and when I hit apply, you can see that all of them have a fade on them. Or I may want to change their length to 1.2 seconds or something like that. And I hit enter, they were all trimmed to be 1.2 seconds long. We can also change the time base for a bunch of items. We can loop and unloop them. We can mute them, lock them. And to commit the changes to your items, you just got to hit apply or you can hit enter. Pitch adjustments and playback rates from here. You can change their volume and pans. And I can also toggle their channel mode, reverse stereo, mono left and right, mono mixing of left and right, stuff like that. And on the bottom here, we can also change their pitch shift and time stretch algorithms. And each one of them has also its own different sub options. And this deserves its own tutorial. However, there's a lot of these things that I may want to control without having to open this menu. And luckily for us, a lot of these actions already exist in Reaper native. If not, there's some SWS features added, some custom scripts. In some places, I have added my own cycle and custom actions. So let's go through some of these. So the first thing is, by default, my items have preserve pitch when changing rate on them ticked. And this is a project wide setting that you can set by going to your project settings and file project settings, or you can go option and return, or I have that on my toolbar and I can open it up here in the advanced tab. You can come here and you can enable or disable your preserve pitch when changing rate for new items. I usually have this enabled, but if I want to disable that for a bunch of items, I can select them, option, command, and W. And as you can see, this box is now unticked. You don't need to have this window open for these hotkeys to work. I'm just showing you that these things are happening. So this changes the preserve pitch when changing rate on all the items. And basically with this option turned off, as we change the rate of items, we are changing the perceived pitch of those items as well. Additionally, we can also adjust the pitch here without affecting the playback rate. So whatever the playback rate is, we can still go to the pitch adjust and make additional adjustments. So I can bring the whole thing down an octave. And this doesn't actually change your playback rate at all. It just applies a pitch shift algorithm, the quality of which depends on what you have selected here. So from here, let me show you a couple of native Reaper functions. So I have this file right here. And if we double click on it, you can see that preserve pitch when changing rate is on. If I hit shift six or shift five, the first thing that happens is this box is unticked. And shift five will slow down the rate by 6% and shift six will speed it up by 6%. I say almost 6% because you can see it's 0.59, but 6% change in playback rate will correspond to one semitone in change of perceived pitch. And the hotkeys are also native Reaper hotkeys. So shift five makes it slower by one semitone, shift six makes it faster by one semitone. Next to those are shift seven and eight. They preserve the playback rate, whatever it is, but they change the pitch by one cent. So shift seven goes down by one cent, shift eight goes up by one cent, shift nine and shift zero go up and down by one semitone, again, without affecting the playback rate at all. And whenever your item has a pitch shift or a rate change applied to it, you can see this additional information on your item title bar. So this tells us the pitch change, this tells us the rate change, the number in front here tells us the amount of change to the perceived pitch based on how we are changing the rate. So as 
I change the rate, you can see the rate value is moving as well as this number tells us how much change in per seat pitch is occurring. So plus 4.9, now 1.8, now minus 2.5, etc. So another useful hotkey is control option one and that will reset the playback rate to one. Control option command and one will change the playback rate and reset the pitch adjustments to zero. So no change. With all four modifiers, I can cycle through these channel modes. So reverse stereo, now mono right, now mono left, now mono mix down, back to normal. And this is a cycle action. I'll show you that cycle action in detail in the blog post. And finally, for these three boxes here, I have also created their own hotkeys. These last two I don't use often enough, so I'm happy coming here and making any changes there. Command option and L will toggle the loop source option on and off. With that option off, if I trim my file beyond its set length, we'll just get silence. And with this turned on, we'll get the same item looped over and over again. Control and M will mute the item. Item, control and L will lock the item and control U will unlock the item. Control up and down will increase and decrease the item volume by one. Again, you don't need this window open. And you may have picked up on a pattern that most of these hotkeys start with control. Try to put as many hotkeys related to items to something with control. So for example, in the previous episode, I showed you command up and command down, select a track volume, control up and down, item volume. While we're on the subject, shift up and down, zoom through the waveform of items so this is not changing the volume of anything in any way this is just kind of zooming in on the waveform for us technical term for that is display gain so if you want to get back to the default you just press shift down all the way until you're at zero and this is a project wide setting you can't set it for one track or one item so i got a good theme going right here shift up and down to zoom in on the waveform control up and down to change selected items volume and then command up and down increase or decrease the track volume Volume. kind of following in on the same theme by default in Reaper you can press V and P to bring up the volume and pan envelope of any track I have control P and control V to bring up the pan and volume envelope for any selected item so I can change that on the spot do any kind of automation and Bob's your uncle additionally I have control and N pitch envelope so we can always without these envelope menus for example adjust the pitch of our item up and down but this gives us some automation control as well so that's it for today. Those were some extra hotkeys related to items. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the work I do, please subscribe. And if you really, really like the work I do, you can also donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Thanks to Bo Denarius and Andreas F. And also an anonymous donor for donating recently. Thanks to everybody else for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.